You walk into the office, and in a matter of seconds, a truckload of tasks come flying at you from every direction, each one screaming, I need to be done right now! In just five minutes, your head already feels overwhelmed with all the stress and inability to make out which of those tasks need to be done right now, and what can be postponed for some time later. Does this seem like you? If yes, please keep on watching. Here are six steps that you can follow right now to get things done. Step 1. Start prioritizing projects based on their business value. Begin by asking yourself, how will this project impact business? While you certainly want to take the organization's bottom line into account, you also need to consider how a project will affect people. For example, will it make life easier for our customers or team members? Step 2. Set priorities by identifying important and urgent projects. Now it's time to take the prioritization process one step further. With your list of important projects in hand, go back over it with an eye for urgency. An important project brings value to your business, whether you feel its impact today or years down the road. An urgent project requires immediate attention to stay on track or keep business going. This time management matrix Stephen Covey developed makes it easy to prioritize work into four simple buckets. Priority 1. Urgent and important. Will a project keep business from a screeching to a halt? Is there a hard deadline you can't afford to miss? Do these projects first. Priority 2. Not urgent, but important. Schedule time to continue progress on projects that don't have an immediate deadline, but matter to the business just the same. Priority 3. Urgent, but not important. These projects may call for quick attention, but don't serve overall business goals. If work like this can't wait, try delegating it. Priority 4. Not urgent and not important. Don't be afraid to give these projects the boot so you can free up time and resources for more worthy work. Step 3. Set clear deadlines for each task. Once you gather all priorities in one place and subjectively place them in order you want them to be completed, work on a single priority for each day. If you have more than one, you might as well have them all or none. You need to focus on a single task, one at a time, to make any decent progress. After sorting them out, set clear, realistic, and reasonable deadlines for each. Include some buffer time for emergencies just in case they happen, or rather, when they happen, because they will. If you set the deadlines too short in an attempt to speed up the process, you might end up with incomplete tasks or tasks that are done poorly just because there was too little time. Set the deadline too long though, and you're risking a standstill for your project, so make sure you invest enough time into this. Step 4. Cut the time in half. After you set clear deadlines for each task, use your imagination and pretend you have to finish a task in three hours instead of six. This can help you with a few things. First, since you have so little time, you will become extremely picky about what you're doing and will instinctively pick the most urgent stuff to do. Second, you can actually make sure that the task will be done by the actual deadline. Finish your job way ahead of time so that you can use the other part that you cut out for last-minute customizations and finalize your work. Step 5. Perfect isn't what you want to be. You need to stop striving for perfection. If you stop to correct every tiny detail and clear up here and there, you will never finish anything on time. What you should do is get the job done by 85-95% to 95 and delegate it to somebody who will do the small fixes for you. And the last step is to be flexible with the project prioritization process. If you've spent any time in project management, you know this. Things change. A project that once was urgent and important might be trumped by an emergency that pops up. If you do this consistently, you will be able to ease up your workload, ensure the task get done on time or even ahead of time. Now, instead of cracking your brain on how to do, jump straight to doing. Hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next video.